Ah, why hello there. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I am uh, just cleaning up the land a little bit. Uh, welcome back to the Minecraft Guide episode 6 now. I, I'm still on track with the episode numbers. I'll, I'll probably lose track very soon though. Uh, and uh, we've got a big day today. Uh, we have two projects. Two, two big projects. One, two. Uh, one of the projects has to do with diamonds again. I'm not too happy with the amount of diamonds that we found uh, last episode, which was zero. Yep, I don't like that. And uh, the other project has to do with, with our cave. I'm, I'm feeling a little homeless at this point, and <laughs> I'd like to change it, even though um, we won't be living here forever, right? Like, we're going to move, but... Uh, I have some ideas, I have a little bit of inspiration, so I think we should follow that inspiration. But but first I have a question. Um, did you like the the music I put in the last episode? I, I, I put some music in like the middle or the second half, and I don't know, I, I'm not going to do it this time, but did you like it? Would you want me to do it again? Because I absolutely can do that, um, I just don't know if it ruins it or, or what, so... Uh, just let me know about that, but uh, our project, our big plan. So I think I need this, and um, I think that's it. Uh, so we are going to do a little bit of strip or, or branch mining. I, I should explain what that is first for, for anybody new, and uh, that is basically probably the best way to find diamonds early on. What you'll want to do is go down to like Y12, Y12 is my favorite, and... Uh, you will be making long, long hallways. So hallway here going down and then you'll go over two blocks normally and then do another hallway and, and come back, uh, you know, and kind of just keep going for however long you want. Diamonds spawn pretty low in your world and this is a pretty effective way of finding those elusive shiny blue rocks because as you can see here, we can see one block, two, three, four, five, and then six. And then over here, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there's no overlaps. Uh, when you do this, you'll usually find a lot of redstone, lapis, coal, just lots of good stuff. And that's exactly what I'd like to find today. So I'm going to do this for a, about 30 minutes in real lifetime. Like I'm going to set a timer and I have a challenge for you. Take a guess. How many diamonds will I find? Uh, during this mining session, I, I have a plain old iron pick and I will keep making more. No enchantments, no fortune, none of that, unfortunately. Nope. Uh, so take a guess and I have some stuff to talk about during the time lapse. So so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'll get some music going and and uh, uh, yeah, wish me luck. Um, Y12, uh, 30 minutes. Here we go. Hello there, everybody. Uh, welcome to the time lapse chat. It's like a whole nother video, but but it's really not. So I I wanted to talk about life, actually, my my real life outside of the game and what's been going on because it's been crazy. I've actually been moving out like for the first time ever, and you know it, it's really exciting, actually. It, it's a little crazy um <laughs> but it's, it's very very exciting i've been over at the new place so like painting and and just cleaning and fixing stuff up and it's really really fun it's it's a different experience uh you know compared to anything i've ever had but but i i definitely love it it's did I say fun? <laughs> As I'm sure a lot of you have noticed, I've been completely away from Twitch, and that is exactly why. Fingers crossed, uh, I hope I'll be back soon. Uh, I, as soon as I can sort things out, uh, everything will be back to normal and, and everything. Um, I've been able to keep up the videos, though, which is was really crazy. I, I didn't know if I would be able to, and, and I think I'm going to be able to, but... But yeah, so that's the time-lapse chat, actually. Just a small little thing. Um, and I, I think we should probably get back to the video now. So, uh, let's go. Alright, well, um, 30 minutes is up. Here we go. Uh, right in, in here. Uh, at the bottom of the chest, plus 8 more iron ore, actually. But I had to smelt some. Uh, but yeah, this is the loot here. No diamonds. Um, oh wait, <laughs> I lied, I, I got five diamonds, so if you guess five, y you win, um, 
a cookie uh, when I can make them. <laughs> well, on to the next project for today. I, I'm really excited about this, but it is time to actually expand our cave and, and make it look even more more fancy and um, <laughs> expensive. Uh, but before I do any of that, I actually need to go cut down some trees to to, you know, have more wood than what I have here. So uh, that's my plan now. I'm going to do that really quick. Uh, uh, you wait right over here by the fire. So I was trying to come up with a, a nice expansion idea. Initially, I was thinking, you know, uh, we could just make a big cave in there and, and that would be cool. And of course, that would be really cool. But I, I don't know how safe that would be. I'm thinking something safe as well because of all of the the patrols that seem to be spawning around here i haven't seen one in in a while but that doesn't mean they're done so uh then i i kind of started thinking well how about up and i think i really like that idea so i think our plan is to to go up with our base and then maybe even add a balcony over on that side of the mountain there and that will be probably it for our cave little hole um now i need to make room for like a door in a way eventually i'd like to come back in and throw some redstone redstone's really cool and kind of fun to do um <laughs> kind of if you know what you're doing um which which i do half the time but uh yeah we'll save some room for a door there i think and and just leave it open for an hour or something um, and then like a spiral staircase or something. Now, I know, uh, of course, mobs can wander up a spiral staircase because it's, it's just blocks, but I doubt that a patrol would stay organized and actually march its way all the way up my spiral staircase. Um, I just kind of doubt it. So uh, I'm taking a gamble and <laughs> if I'm wrong, you, you can, you can call me out on it, but I, I think we'll be safe. So We'll do a spiral staircase in this room. So we'll walk in and immediately turn and go all the way up, uh, just a little bit up to our floor. Now, of course, our mountain is tall, but it's not like a skyscraper or anything like that, that at least in my opinion. So we don't need to go really too far up, uh, just a little bit of a ways. And when I say that, I mean, <laughs> I don't really know how far we need to go up. So uh, we're, we're just going to... I think lay some slabs in here and see what it looks like. Uh, but of course, I, I want to pay attention to the detail of the build, right? Like, things have to look nice. And so I, I'd like to let the grass kind of spill its way in here. And then maybe even, um, like, add a hole or something. Just just a little way to let light in here. But, but not too much. So maybe we put a slab and then we'll have this little hole there. And then from out here... I don't know. I, I think that could look really nice. Now, I really like the idea of using spruce wood in here because of the whole taiga biome update thing. So I think that's what we're going to try and use primarily. Uh, now, what do we have in here? Is this good? Yeah, we can absolutely walk up here. That's that's actually amazing. Um, You know, maybe we want our room to start up here. This could be fine, I, I think. Um, what do we have in terms of height? Let's go take a look out here uh, because that will kind of determine things um how deep is this mountain <laughs> um uh i don't know if that's enough yeah that's not enough um hmm uh you know what? let's just fill this in and we'll we'll go up a little more uh it's it's not high enough Yeah, <laughs> I uh, probably won't be doing that on camera. That's that's a, a spiral, but uh, I think this is a lot better. It's it's not all the way up, uh, but it's not down there. So I, I'm kind of content with how this is. The spiral is starting to get crazy. Now, I, I don't think we need any kind of entrance or anything other than the spiral. I think the spiral is good enough. What I need to do is uh, clear out a, a good size area. Now, I, I know I won't have any windows on the front here, so... I don't think I need to go all the way out that way. Uh, maybe like like that should be fine. I'm going for a, a more spacious base, but but nothing huge. This is still a temporary base, as I've said a million times. So I think I'd like to focus on this direction instead, going out this way so we can actually do that balcony thing. I think the balcony would be a really nice idea, and it would help with 
the whole multiple entrance thing, which I actually haven't talked about yet at all in this series. So when I do a house or a, a base or a farm or really any kind of building, I like to place uh, more than one entrance or, or exit on the thing in case of uh, like creepers or, or anything like that. So uh, that's kind of the point of the balcony. If we have a balcony over here, then we can, of course, get in to the base through the balcony, but also get out if, if there was a creeper or... A patrol somehow wandered up into the stairwell or, or something crazy like that um, but yeah I, I always feel like having multiple entrances is just a really good idea now over here um, let's see uh, I think we can just uh, start placing some floor um, like here I guess uh, I, I don't really know what shape I'd like to do Hmm, maybe we should follow the mountain. That would make sense and be kind of natural. So let's say we have our, our little porch come out this way and then uh, curve a little bit like that. And then I think maybe we take this bush, pull that out, and angle like this. Uh, maybe something like that. I, I think that's an okay shape. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like that. Now... Underneath this thing, I think we need some supports, and I have a lot of oak wood, so let's see. Uh, maybe we could do like a like a wrapping support thing. So let's say we have an oak beam going up and down over there, and then maybe one on the other corner, because that would kind of make sense. Um, then in the middle, I think we could just kind of wrap things under in a way. So let's see. Maybe we do, I think, another one here. Um, I think the cows are liking it. Uh, and I think actually three is fine. So we'll do that and maybe no wrapping. Maybe we'll just go straight down instead. All the way down to the ground. Kind of support our little balcony like that. I think that's a good look. Um, now over here, same thing. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, I heard the noise and, and I was, I was going to say, uh oh. Uh, hi buddy. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I wasn't planning on talking about you today. Uh, you're a spoiler for the series. Um, and you can head out. I'll talk to you about. I'll talk about you later. <laughs> uh, see you later, man. Thanks for stopping by, though. Nice, nice to meet you. Okay. So, anyways, these beams will go straight up, and then we will probably just completely demolish this wall here i'd like to have a really really open feel so this is like not even a balcony really it's just the end of the room but i don't think i'll do uh oak beams all the way up on these two because this is sort of the front of the base i'd, I'd like to have a nice open view over here uh, of this whole field i don't know if we'll do anything over there uh, but nonetheless i think an open view would be really really nice now for the walls inside of this thing ideally i'd like to preserve the whole cave atmosphere so we won't do any sort of polished wall or or anything too clean and i need my iron oh no <laughs> my iron so we're trying to fit the whole uh that doesn't sound good <laughs> we're trying to fit the whole cave uh feel atmosphere vibe anything like that so i think we need to leave the walls kind of randomized and rough i'll also need to come back in on the walls and you know put some cobblestone in here and and everything like that but i think if we had like a cave here that somebody is sort of secured in a sense uh, i think that could look really really nice and it would definitely match with what we have going down below already one thing that i'd like to do in this world long term is uh, theming i I'd, I'd love to create some themed areas of the world so say we have you know this mountain base over here and then maybe maybe an ocean base eventually or or a desert base and then of course our main base i i still don't know for sure what i'm going to do i have some really good ideas but i i still don't know for sure but I, I think at this point, I need to, to focus in and just dig out a lot of this stuff here. So then, of course, we can move on to a more exciting part, which is, of course, decorating this thing. Oh man, you know, I, I really need a vine farm about now. <laughs> I grabbed vines the other day when we went to the swamp, but I 
I haven't set up any kind of farm yet. Uh, that's something that I want to do, of course, on camera. And and I I just don't think it's time for that yet. Um, but vines in here would look amazing, like or mossy cobblestone and and stuff. You know, it's, it's just so great. But I I am actually pretty happy with how the the cave is turning out. I'm thinking like a bedroom back here and and yeah like just an open area and then of course the balcony but uh, more on that in a minute uh, i'm trying to mix in the blocks now so i need to go get my stone i actually do have some smooth stone and i'd like i think all of this to be stone i i don't think dirt should be in here really at all maybe we'll leave like a small clump up there that's kind of cool looking to me uh but for the most part i think this should all be stone there now on the roof um I should probably get rid of all this cobblestone for this. Oh, and uh, in the hallway, I think I need to pull pretty much all of this granite out and replace it with, like, gray blocks. I, I think the granite is just really, really random. Doesn't really look all that good. And, and yeah, so this whole hallway will will be transformed but i i might actually leave some of the coals when you leave ores or you put ores on or inside of your build things start to look more natural like a cave system or something like that and that is exactly what we're going for so i think the coal actually works very very nicely there so the roof out here of of the balcony now most of the inside flooring will probably be spruce wood or or some sort of variant of it uh and that means we absolutely cannot use spruce wood on the roof um <laughs> if i were to use spruce wood up on the roof as well as the floor things would start to look really really just just brown all over like the same wood texture uh and it wouldn't really be a good look so a big tip of advice is uh, to not use the same floor block as the same ceiling block like ever just just don't do it it's it's probably not going to look too good um and this is going to be tricky uh hmm how do i do this uh does that just go back maybe and then the mountain hangs out a little bit i guess i i think that works um the shape is just so weird here um i think this should go in right like like that's that curves over um i, th I think like that uh <laughs> um yeah because that's the floor um i think this goes here yeah yeah and then i i guess i'll i'll go over to like there um <laughs> uh, I think we're just gonna go with it and see how it looks, right? That's all we can kind of do here. Um, it's confusing, uh, but, but I think it works because we're blending this into the mountain anyways, right? Like uh, some of this will end up being dirt up here and and that'll be that. Um, so maybe we go one more up like this and, and then the dirt takes over, right? I think yeah, I think that'll be the best way to do this. Uh, so there we go. Um, uh, that'll be dirt. And I think uh, we'll do this. And there. Something like that. I think that's cool. That's good. Kind of finishes things up. And then we can put a little bit of uh, berries up there. So how does it look from from down here? Does it look okay? Uh, out. <laughs> um, hmm. Uh, well, I... I can't see anything, so I guess it looks fine. Um, I mean, it doesn't look bad. I, I can't really see anything. <laughs> I guess it's fine. Okay, so this creates an interesting thing over here inside of the build. I, I think what needs to happen is, uh, like, some sort of slow, like, slope up into the roof line. Um, and then we can do, I think, just mountain blocks, like like stone and stuff. Um, and then the roof can kind of, yeah, yeah, I think this would look fine. Yeah. I mean, I don't see why not, right? I, I think we'll go with that. Then I need probably, hmm, um, probably oak fences on those uh, three each. And then, uh, yep, all this needs to turn to stone. 
Now, of course, would be crazy if we didn't do this, uh, but we need a little bit of slabs, and we need a little bit of walls, and then probably, uh, it would make sense, uh, but a, a little bit of stone slabs as well. So, this needs to be more uneven. If we go in here and place some slabs in random spots, I think uh, everything will start to look even more natural and, and cool. Maybe not there. Uh, that blocks the stone. I, I think the stone was nice there. Maybe we do that. Um... Okay, there, and uh, then over here, and this is completely random, like, I'm just placing stuff down and, and hoping it looks nice, and and I, I think it's working, like, I mean, to me, all of this looks nice. <laughs> then finally, the walls, so I wanted to make uh, the hanging little rock things, I, I'm sorry, I forget the scientific name, uh, but hanging rock things, just a few in here, uh, to to make things look even more cavey, uh, but now it's time to do the floor, so... I don't know. This is going to be weird. Um, I was thinking about, you know, of course. Uh, hey, that's some coal. Um, lots of lots of spruce wood in here. Um, but at the same time, I think that doing this all with spruce wood would look weird. So I think we should maybe mix in some coarse dirt in here. And um, maybe... Uh, 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 well, we can. I was going to say, you know, brown concrete powder. But... Um, that's not an option yet. Uh, so yeah, I guess uh, coarse dirt and, and dirt is going to have to cut it. Um, uh, but not around the balcony. I think the balcony needs to be like solid and stuff, you know, so something like that. I don't know, guys. Uh, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of this. Uh, it really does give off a cave vibe, right? Like, it looks like we're in a cave, but... Uh, is, is it, is it just weird? I don't know. Uh, that might work. Um, hmm. <laughs> um, you see, this is the hard part about building sometimes. Um, sometimes stuff just doesn't work and, and you don't know what to do. Um, hmm. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the dirt is working. I just need to get it in. Uh, but I, I think mixing in the stripped spruce logs is a good idea from time to time, too. Uh, which brings me over to our next little point. Uh, big spruce trees. So if if you have four spruce saplings, uh, you can place them in a 2x2 a two two little formation and grow one of these giant trees. These things are amazing for wood, and they are actually pretty easy to cut down, too. Uh, so... When you grow one of these trees, you'll want to do a spiral staircase going up the thing and, and chop it down. We'll talk about tree farming a little more in a different episode, though. Okay, um, I don't know. I, you gotta tell me what you think. Um, I'm okay with it for now, like like the floor, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm just not 100% sold, but uh, we have to move on now, so... I, I think I'd like some beams in here, just like we did in our small cave entrance. Maybe we go, um, hmm, where do I want to take this beam from? I guess if we pull this one out, and then we go all the way up to the ceiling there, that's good. Um, then how about one over here on the front? So, how about right on the front? Well, going, uh, from the floor to the ceiling, there we go. Um, and let's actually pull that out a little bit, and then probably one in here hmm uh, i guess we could go from this spot right here all the way down to the floor i think that'll look good and help with the support in this cave now of course we need some support beams and i should probably do those with with oak uh, because we have a lot of spruce in this cave if you haven't noticed <laughs> so uh let's see maybe we do one there and then one diagonally down or how about this we Keep pulling it down a little bit and have it go diagonally up all the way over to there. And then how about one over here going from uh, there to, hmm, maybe there like that, you know, just kind of supporting. And then that one doesn't really need one. So I guess we can put like a shelf or something. Um, and then maybe, yeah, maybe we do one here too. Kind of like that. I, I think that looks nice. Now, of course, we definitely need lighting over there in that corner. So let's just hide a torch um, right there for now. That'll be good. And uh, now it's actually time to decorate this thing. So eventually, of course, we will be, you know, moving more of the 1.14 blocks in and, and everything. 
Uh, but for now, I think we're going to keep it pretty basic. Uh, so how do we make a stone cutter? Is it that? Yes. Uh, I think two stone cutters could look kind of cool sitting there. Then a crafting bench is good. Uh, we need a bed in that back corner. So let's go down here and do... I don't know. Uh, how about a black bed? I think a black bed would look really nice in there. And then probably some banners eventually as well. I have lots of stuff that I want in here. Um, or inside of this thing. So... Uh, <laughs> we'll just keep it all in mind. But let's take the cartography table inside too. I like it outside, don't get me wrong, but I think it would work a lot better inside of here. So let's say uh, maybe the map over there and then our cartography table. Ah, darn. Um, hmm, where would that work better? Uh, nope. Uh, hmm. I, I think this is like our only option is this right here because uh, of the globe, right? Like, I want to be able to see that. So, I guess that's our little map corner. Um, the bed. We need to make our bed. We'll say... Uh, whoops. Uh, the bed can go over here. This will be, like, our bedroom, kind of. Uh, it's it's not much of a bedroom. Then I think we need a little bit more, uh, like, railings or something to, to stop us from falling. So, if we go all the way out there, and then... Um, I think that can stay open like that. I put staircases in here, by the way, to kind of you know, slowly blend this up a little bit, uh, but yeah, so fences there, and then probably fences here too, um, well, definitely fences on the front, I wouldn't want to fall off, uh, but I need to leave one open, so I think this will be our open one, and we can kind of emergency jump out, maybe I'll put some ladders there or something, but I think something like that is, is kind of fine looking if we just connect them a little bit, but not all the way, like, we can leave this gap, well, if I leave the gap, I can actually jump there, so that's fine, uh, that can close off like that, I think, and yeah, I, I'm kind of happy with how that all turned out there, so, hmm, uh, this is a lot of room for more 1.14 things, you know what we can make, um, <laughs> might not be a good use of our iron right now, but, uh, of course, the beautiful lantern, so, um, where should we hang it, um, Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to. I, I I need to make more. Um, uh, I'll smelt up some more iron. Uh, that's okay. Uh, maybe we put one there. And um, let's set one there for now. Uh, that doesn't do it. I, I'm sure this is going to be a little too dark in here. Uh, we, well, we have an 8. And 8's okay, I think. Um, yeah, I saw a 7. I need a little bit more lanterns. Or, you know what, I, I just thought about this, but how about we add a ladder on the outside of our base here, so we can actually go up and down, and uh, we'll put it, uh, let's go actually all the way over here. So we'll do a ladder going up, uh, so we can actually climb in and out of our base, and then I will uh, pull this away, so that'll stay open like that, that's fine. Um, now, uh, let's try some carpet inside of this thing. Um, just a little bit, and I think we want, you know, kind of a, a random pattern. So we'll do a rug there, and then maybe just like uh, a, a bit of a torn up one sitting here in the middle of the floor, right? Like, I don't know, something like super random. Um, maybe we even do like that, and, and that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, we need some coarse dirt in there and then some vines on the ceiling. Uh, eventually, I will come back in with some, some real mossy cobble, but for now, this will work. I, I think that will help with the whole gray tones. And uh, then, of course, uh, the more lanterns. So let's make another one um, right here. And we'll put it uh, in this corner now. So we'll hang one there. And I think I need one more over there. Uh, but, uh, with all of this being done, I think that is just about it for today's episode. We will be coming back in here very, very shortly, like next episode shortly, probably, and actually filling this in a little bit more, so don't worry. I know it's empty. Uh, it won't always be empty, I promise, but I think this is a whole lot nicer of, of a home, or at least a little bit bigger. It's not necessarily... <laughs> nicer it's still a cave but yep i don't know uh i think it's cool and i hope you do too my name is waddles thank you very much for watching this episode of the minecraft guide i will see you next time goodbye everybody go have a good one